Work has begun to explore one of the largest uranium deposits found in recent years. It's part of a move by mining giant Energy Resources of Australia to extend the life of its ranger mine surrounded by Kakadu National Park. Traditional owners have approved the exploration but say that's no guarantee they'll give the underground expansion the green light. It's the first real sign the Ranger Uranium mine is moving in a new direction, underground. Construction has begun on a 2.2 kilometre tunnel to explore a new uranium deposit. It's a, a very exciting day as we start a new chapter in ERA. After 30 years of open cut mining, we go underground for the first time. The deposit holds about 34,000 tonnes of uranium oxide, one of the largest finds in recent times, but there could be more. ERA is also digging deep into its pockets, outlaying $175 million to find out. We're investing it because we think it's a, a, a very good potential, it's a very high potential project. Open pit mining ends this year. Without a move underground, Ranger's future is in doubt. 10% of the world's uranium supply has come from Ranger since mining began more than 30 years ago. When mining of this pit here behind me ceases at the end of this year, the entire area will be filled with tens of millions of tonnes of rock. Environmentalists oppose any expansion. A lot of Territorians don't want a large uranium mine there for decades and decades and that's clearly what ERA is angling for. Traditional owners remain cautious. Our engagement and willingness to look at exploration results shouldn't be construed as a blank check. ERA says an underground mine will keep the region prosperous. Exploration drilling will begin in June next year. Emma Masters, ABC News.